Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Music is coming and dragons. So there's this big concert event that's coming. This is just going to be a breakdown of what's going on, where you can find stuff. You may remember hearing about this during the summer. Tickets weren't on sale yet. They're on sale now. There's like a link for the Live Nation website. I'll put it down in the description. Giant thanks to them for sponsoring this footage. This is actually pretty sweet. It's Ramin Javadi headlining basically from February all the way through April. So pretty, you know, pretty much like the first block of next year. So if you're bummed out that season seven isn't going to start till next summer, you have all this Game of Thrones experience. It's the orchestra with a choir with this 360 degree stage. There'll be 3D designs that rise up from the stage floor. So it gets really crazy. It's actually really cool. And you definitely have to hand it to Ramin Javadi. I mean, he works with Dan and Dave when he's writing all this music. They give him an idea for the tone, but it's mostly him. Like he's the guy that came up with the Game of Thrones theme song that you hear before every episode. But you can see how the experience is like so much more than like just a regular symphony orchestra performance. It's more of like a 3D immersive experience. Like imagine, like if you've ever been into Hall H at Comic-Con, where they put the screens all around the room, it's kind of like that, where you're just like up in it. But I do think they have VIP seats if you want to pay a little extra. They have like cool house table, like there's like a Lannister section, there's a Stark section like right near the stage. But depending on where you live, like just check the website and it'll let you know which tickets are still available. It starts pretty soon, like it's right around the corner. This is like a complete list of all the dates. So you can actually like pause the video here if you need to, just to like scan this really quickly just to see when they're near your city. Here's more footage of what it actually looks like at the concert, like the way it actually works. The way they tailor music for the experience is actually very similar to the way they tailor music for the series. I mean, the difference being that they don't march the orchestra behind the Unsullied when they're filming those scenes. So a little bit different in that way. So when he's playing Daenerys music, she'll be flying around on Drogon. When he's playing Jon Snow music, like Battle of Bastards stuff, you'll see the horses charging out at you. And they haven't released an official set list, but it's supposed to cover music from all the seasons. Like each new season, they actually release an album for like the new music that's written. So there's like new music for season six. Jon Snow gets some of his own very special music. So you have to imagine they'll be playing the most iconic songs. The Red Wedding is the one that always comes to mind first, just because it so encapsulated the moment that it was used in and the story that it told. But let me know in the comments, what's your favorite Game of Thrones song? I mean, the main title is amazing. I mean, we listen to it all the time. You literally listen to it before every single episode. But this past season, there was some music from episode nine. Like naturally, episode nine won all those Emmys. But I think, you know, one of my favorite tracks from season six is called Rain. Obviously, that's the Daenerys track from episode nine. Then the Tower, as in the Tower of Joy from episode 10. That was probably my other favorite track which was actually much shorter, but still just very amazing the way it worked with the way they cut that episode. Those are kind of like mood music too. Like they're intended to drive the mood, the tone of the scene. The Reigns of Castamere is more of an example of a really meta diegetic song. So there are a couple different types of songs they use. But if you're a huge fan of Game of Thrones music, as we all are, and you've already rewatched the series a billion times, then be sure and check the tour out. Like I said, I put the ticket link down in the description. They have links for like all the different dates depending on where you live. So it's gonna be pretty awesome. While you guys check all that stuff out, you can click here to rewatch the concert trailer again, and you can click here for all my other Game of Thrones videos. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.